I think Ethernet services have started to move on. So previously the discussion was all about topologies and different types of service. Now it's about how you're serving the customer. So it's about performance, it's about monitoring, and really it's seeing Ethernet in the context of the, of the wider piece. So at Colt we tend to talk about the information delivery platform. And what that really means is seeing Ethernet along with data centers, professional services. So it's looking at the whole, the whole spectrum of IT services, not just networking technology. I think Ethernet is ideal partner for the cloud because as you move more and more applications um, from, from customer sides into the cloud, then the reliability and dependency of that connectivity to get to the cloud is becoming important. So Ethernet is there to help in terms of, in terms of resilience, in terms of scalability, so that's um, responding to the needs of the customers, um, and in terms of security as well, which is critical because um, at the end of the day, these are very important applications that customers need, so they're mission critical. I think in the past video services have always depended on leased lines, but if you look at some of the pitfalls there, so the, the scalability of the bandwidth and the flexibility, they weren't really there. Now Ethernet has come of age and you can have connection orientated services, then Ethernet is able to take up that role and provide more flexible, scalable services. That becomes important because when you look at um, um, broadcast video, then you're encrypting at different data rates, you need the flexibility um, to carry different speeds uh, and get those from, from end to end. So so Ethernet has kind of come of age in terms of that capability. So now you have low latency, in particular low jitter, which is pretty important for broadcast and media services.